Hi, I'm Rob Eder. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Drugstore News. We're coming to you from downtown New York City, 40 Wall Street, the site of the first ever co-branded Walgreens Dwayne Reed store. I'm here with President of Daily Living Products and Solutions, Joe Magnaca. He's agreed to give us a sneak peek of the new store. Joe, people are referring to this store as the Dean and DeLuca of drugstore retailing. Can you help me understand what they might mean by that? Sure. I think, I think the exciting part of this store is that uh, there's probably three things that are pretty monumental. First of all, from a fresh foods point of view, uh, if you take Dean and DeLuca and Dwayne Reed and bring them together, you get the new 40 Wall Street location. Lots of fresh food, lots of service, and lots of excitement. Uh, right within the 22,000 square feet of this location. In addition, there's probably two other things that are, that are pretty significant. Obviously, expanded beauty services and our new pharmacy co-branding. And we're now part of the Walgreens Pharmacy Network, which means that you can get your scripts filled at a Walgreens store, at a Duane Reed store, seamlessly. Uh, 22,000 square feet. That's quite a bit larger than a typical Duane Reed or a typical Walgreens. Uh, what, what's going on with some of the extra space in here? Well, I think the exciting thing is that you know this this site is is very unique, and we're very excited to be in at 40 Wall Street in the Trump Building. The exciting thing about it, though, it allows us to really use this store as an incubator, Rob. So we can test a bunch of new concepts. So we've really pushed the envelope hard, both in pharmacy uh, and beauty, and in particular in food, to see how high high is. And any of the learning that we take from this locate from this location, we can apply back to other locations as we build them out in the future. Technology. I mean, we're seeing a lot of it in the store, I mean, around us, all around us. There's a, a virtual greeter behind us. What, what role do you think technology plays in helping to create the customer experience at 40 Wall Street? Well, I think technology is used in several ways. Obviously, we talk first and foremost about uh, the pharmacy network from Walgreens. Uh, the virtual greeter that you referred to, um, you know, is really specific for this store and, and helping people understand and navigate through this location. Uh, you'll see technology and beauty in a big way. Uh, you'll see a program that's called uh, Find Your Look, which allows you to apply makeup virtually to yourself using your image. Wow. And it's pretty exciting, and we'll go, uh, we'll go try that and have some fun. Great, and there's a clinic in this uh, in this store too, Joe. How many clinics is that for doing? So that's this is number ten, and we're pretty excited about this one. Again, uh, we're affiliated with Beth, Beth Israel in some locations. It's it's Mount Sinai. It's it's a pretty exciting proposition. Uh, doctors on site. Again, we're going to staff this five days a week to start, and and if things go well, we'll open it up Saturdays and Sundays as well. Right. Joe, you know what I've noticed as we pass through the store is that each area creates its own unique experience and, and, and space for the category. Can you talk to us about the area we're standing in right now? Sure. I mean, this is the OPI SE Nail Bar, and this is pretty exciting. This is David Rockefeller's old office, and when we first took this site, we thought it would be appropriate for us to maintain a certain aspect of that office. We've actually maintained the fireplace and built this wonderful nail bar experience around it. Again, using only OPI and SE products, you can come in here and get a manicure. Uh, this service area is totally new to, to Duane Reed and really uh, to drugstores in the uh, North American marketplace, and we're excited to launch it here at 40 Wall.
So, so what are we looking at here, Joe? Well, this is one of the most exciting things in the store. It's a virtual makeover system. So here's what we do. We basically uh, are going to take a picture of ourselves and apply product virtually to our, to our face. So let's try that. So we're going to pick up a product. Um, I'm going to pick up some lipstick. I'm going to scan it. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask me to take a picture. It will ask me if the photo is acceptable. And, it, of course, it won't be, but it will accept it anyway because no one ever likes their photo. <laughs> and what it will do is start showing that product virtually on my face. And what I'll then do is add incremental product to it. I accept the conditions. Do I like my photo? Yes. And now you can see that it's starting to add that color lipstick to my lips. Well, how do I look, uh, how do I look with Maybelline uh, mascara? Well, let's find out. Add that in. You can see that my eyelashes have changed. What happens if I add... A little bit more product. So I've added some blush. What happens if I add some further treatments? So what you've now got is kind of this, this, this new look and feel. I can decide if I like it. I can remove something and add something different. And I can then go to the next step, which will show me the before and after. So you'll see the before and after. And the cool thing about this is once I'm done, I can then email that to myself. I'll have a list of the products that are appropriate based on this, as well as the photos sent directly to my email. Wow, Joe, are, are we even still in a drugstore anymore? There's so well, much fresh food in here. Where are you sourcing all of this stuff? Well, that's the great thing about being in New York. There's just incredible areas of sourcing opportunities where we can get high-quality foods driver, delivered daily. But this one's really special. This is now called Upmarket. In fact, we will have uh, two sushi chef, chefs on staff, so we're actually going to be producing sushi right in store. So in addition to some of the great work we've already done in fresh in this marketplace, we're taking it to the next level with, with several elements. If you remember, you know, our Delish Sandwich program has obviously been pretty powerful. We've also continued to support the Zabar's program, not just with sandwiches. We have our Delish Fruit program as well. And something new that I want to show you, come on over here, is our new uh, juice market. So again, we're doing fresh wow. smoothies, made to order, on site, right in the store. So a pretty exciting experience for consumers uh, as they enter the store from a lunchtime and a dinner time perspective. Again, I wanted to show you some of the range of products. What we try to do is carry the best national brands, but also try to seed in a lot of our local products. So here's a great example, again, where we're working with Zabars to bring in some of their fresh baked goods on a daily basis. In addition, we're working with people like Fat Witch Brownies, who, as you know, make the best brownies in New York City and have them in a, in a retail pack in our location. If you want to take it even further, head down to the case, and you'll see that we're actually working with people like Carnegie Deli and creating some of their products and putting them in our stores as well. And if you follow me... We're going to show you something else that we think is pretty interesting. If you head down this aisle, you'll see an extensive range of international foods, gluten-free products, natural and organics, as well as our extended convenience food offering. A, a shoe shine station in the middle of a drugstore. I mean, talk about raising the bar on customer experience, Joe. What are we What are we trying to accomplish with this? Well, really, it's it's really a means to an end. As you know, we're we're quite engaged with the New York community, and we do a lot of fundraising. So whether it's uh, whether it's Susan Komen or we're currently focusing on Operation Backpack, and as you know, most recently we sponsored the Aid Walk in New York and raised almost five hundred thousand wow. dollars. Uh, we just believe that it's important to give back to the community. So we thought it would be fun to take that idea and apply it back to this store in a traditional shoe shine model. So all the proceeds from shoe shines in this store go directly to the Dwayne Reed Charitable Foundation towards so causes that are great like the ones I just mentioned. Okay, well thanks Joe. This is truly an exciting store and we're really honored that you had us here for a sneak peek today. We hope that it gave some of your vendors that couldn't be here today an idea of how they can work with Dwayne Reed to create a more of an experience for the customer and bring more life to their part of the store. Thanks, Rob. It truly was an honor to have you guys here to have a, a sneak peek, and hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we uh, enjoy putting it together. So thanks very much. We sure did. I'm Rob Eater. He's Joe Magnaka. You keep watching Drugstore News TV.